We are Deep Isolation, a Berkeley, California-based startup, and we've developed a solution to the problem of nuclear waste. America's top scientists have concluded that the safest way to dispose of nuclear waste is to put it deep underground. This video will show how directional drilling, a technology developed by the oil and gas industry, can provide an unprecedented level of safety. And because directional drilling has been perfected over the last two decades, it can offer this security at a remarkably low cost. Our solution places the waste a mile underground, far removed from the biosphere, buried under a billion tons of rock. We choose sites with a rock that has not moved or changed for tens to hundreds of millions of years and has demonstrated its retentive power by securely holding gases over that entire time. The drill holes perfected by the oil and gas industry are amazingly well matched to the current size and shape of our nuclear waste packages. We slip these packages into steel canisters that can fit perfectly into the drill holes. There's no need to remove the fuel from the assemblies or to reprocess it in any way. To construct a waste repository, we begin by erecting a rig, 150 feet tall on a small concrete platform. We drill a hole straight down several hundred feet until it is well below any aquifer. Then a steel pipe called a surface casing is inserted into the hole. Cement is pushed down the casing and up the space between the rock and the casing, providing an additional seal. This is standard procedure for oil and gas wells, but we won't be extracting anything. We're doing quite the opposite, using the drill hole to place waste underground. Once the surface casing and cement are in place, the hole is drilled thousands of feet lower to the kickoff point. Here, the direction of the hole is gradually curved over a distance of a thousand feet until it is horizontal. Then it will be given a slight upward tilt to provide even more safety. This horizontal drill hole, a mile deep and up to two miles long, is the disposal section. Remarkably, the curve below the kickoff point will be so gradual that even an eight inch diameter steel casing bends easily around the curve. When the casing is in place, it too is cemented. For the storage section, we chose a layer that is in or below shale, a rock formation that is so impenetrable that it has even held gases for tens to hundreds of millions of years. Once the drill hole is completed and lined, we are ready to dispose of the waste. Each canister is transported to the site surrounded by steel and concrete to provide radiation safety for the workers. It is placed in the top of a drill hole and lowered using a stiff cable called coiled tubing. Once it reaches the storage section, the canister is pushed up by the tubing into the nearly horizontal disposal section. The canister is unlatched, the tubing withdrawn, and the process is repeated to insert more canisters. Nuclear fuel is compact. Just three horizontal drill holes can store a lifetime of nuclear waste from a large gigawatt reactor. Once the horizontal disposal section is filled with canisters, the vertical section of the drill hole is sealed with a combination of bentonite, rock, and cement. The drill rig is removed and replaced with a small monitoring station. Measurements at the site continue for as long as necessary until the Nuclear Regulatory Commission decides the repository performance is confirmed. Because we are using standard oil and gas technology perfected over the last 20 years, because the fuel fits so compactly into the drill holes, and because the fuel is placed robotically with no humans underground, each repository will be far less expensive than any other proposed disposal solution, and the depth and geological stability will offer excellent public safety. We welcome your thoughts and your questions. Please contact us through our website at www.deepisolation.com. Thank you for watching.